Hello and welcome to the solutions video for the physics classroom in, in the Newton Laws sections, the concept builder, Newton's second law, using equations to guide thinking. So we will have 24 questions total, although I suspect this is one where the wizard level is just the apprentice and master level combined. So an object has an acceleration of 12.0 meters per second squared. If the net force acting on the object were doubled, then its new acceleration would be. So because F equals MA, if we double the force without changing the mass, then we'll double the acceleration. So we'll end up with 24.0 meters per second squared. We have an acceleration of 18 meters per second squared. The mass were tripled with no change in its net force. So the same force acting on triple the mass will have one third of the acceleration. So if we double the mass with no change in the net force, removing twice as much stuff, we will only have half of the acceleration. And finally, we have an acceleration of 18 meters per second. We triple the net force without changing the mass. Its acceleration will triple, and it will be 54.0. So that's our apprentice level. The master level. We have an acceleration of 18. The mass of the object were tripled with no change in the net force. Again, we will have one-third of the acceleration. So we have an acceleration of 18. The net force acting on the object were halved. So half of the net force with nothing else changing is going to give us half the acceleration. So an object has an acceleration of 6 meters per second squared. The net force were doubled but we're not changing anything else, we are going to double our acceleration. An object has an acceleration of 18. The net force were one third of the original. If we, then we're going to drop the acceleration to one third of the original, 6.0. Now, if we have an acceleration of 12 meters per second squared, the mass of the object will reduce to one third of the original value. That's going to end up tripling the acceleration because you only have a third as much material to move. An object has an acceleration of six meters per second squared. If we double the mass, then we're going to have half the acceleration. Acceleration of 12, if the mass were halved, and only the mass were halved, we're going to double our acceleration. And finally, we have an acceleration of 6 meters per second squared. If the net force is tripled, right, then we're going to have triple the acceleration when there are no other changes involved. So that is the master level. Now the wizard level. So an object has an acceleration of 12 meters per second squared. We double the net force without changing the rest. We're going to get up to 24.0 meters per second squared. If you have an acceleration of 18, double the net force. That would give us an acceleration of 36 and then you cut the mass to one third, we're gonna triple our 36. We're gonna have an acceleration of 108 meters per second squared. If we've got an acceleration of 12, have the mass would get our acceleration up to 24. Or probably 24.0 is the right significant digits. We have an acceleration of 12. We cut the net force in half, 
We're going to cut the acceleration in half with no other changes. So now it's 6. An object has an acceleration of 6. If we reduce the mass to one third of the original, we're going to triple that acceleration and be up to 18. If we have an acceleration of 18, we triple the net force. That will get us up to 54. But then we double the mass that brings us down to 27. An object has an acceleration of 6 meters per second squared. If the net force acting on this were one third of the original, so that's going to get us down to 2 meters per second squared. So acceleration of 18, we triple the net force. That brings us up to 54 meters per second squared. We have an acceleration of 12. We triple the mass. That's going to bring our acceleration down to one third of what it was. So that's down to 4 meters per second squared. We have an acceleration of 18. Triple the net force gets us up to 54 half the mass, that would double the acceleration again, so we're up to 108 meters per second squared. So we have an acceleration of 12 meters per second squared. We double the mass, that brings it down to 6 meters per second squared. And if we get it correct, this will be our last question. An object has an acceleration of 6 meters per second squared. If we double the net force, that will get us up to 12. But then we triple the mass. That'll bring us from 12 down to a third of that, which is 4. So our new acceleration is 4 meters per second squared. And this concludes the solutions for uh, Newton's second law equations as a guide to thinking.